Hey, do you know that one of the main reasons why people refuse to stop drinking is because they don't want to feel lonely. They just feel and wholeheartedly believe that without their best friend, Jose Cuervo, that they will never have a good time. Their life is just going to be boring. They're going to be stuck with themselves, or at least the version of themselves that's been created over years of alcohol abuse. Even though that version of them has got them this far, they've survived everything. They're still afraid to put down that drink, that substance, that person. Here's the trip, dude. Loneliness is a feeling. It is a state of being. It is a reality that you are on your own. And that is phenomenal. You may have somebody next to you, but you are on your own. Every accomplishment, every achievement, every dream, every food you've eaten has been on your own. Even in a group of people, guess who's having the experience? It is you. You've always been on your on your own. It's imperative that you don't allow the illusion of loneliness to prevent you from making real connections. The connection that you're actually seeking is you. You can't connect to another person. You could only feel the connection within yourself and apply it to another human being. Alcohol gives us that illusion. Oh my God, I feel like I've known you my whole life. That's false, it's not real. But if you could feel that drinking, what makes you think you can't feel that same connection sober? So if you or someone you know has been struggling, not just to get sober, but using that loneliness to have just one more drink, using that impending doom of potential loss of friendship, having you drink one more? Dude, I'm an ex-alcoholic liver failure survivor. That's one of the main reasons I refuse to stop drinking too. Now I've supported thousands of people, so don't be afraid to check my page for more details on how I'd love to help.